We're going to be looking at polygonal numbers today, and um, we'll start with a geometric definition. So first thing, so they're called polygonal numbers, so they have to do with polygons, obviously. So the first polygon we're going to look at is triangle. So the first triangular number is 1, which will represent by 1 dot. The second one is 3. So how you form that 3 is we're going to form it like this, because that forms a triangle. The third one is the next biggest triangle we can form. So we draw the initial triangle, then we build on it, drawing equally spaced dots. So you see that the next one is made up of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 dots. So the first one is 1, the second one is 3, the third one is 6, and we're going to find the next one, the fourth one is 10, the fifth one is 15. And I'm seeing these because the difference between each one is, uh, the difference between this one and this one is 2. The difference here is 3, the difference here is 4, then 5. And the difference between the differences is constant. And that's how polygonal numbers are defined. So now we're going to look at square numbers. So looking at square numbers, uh, the first one is 1. You're going to see the first one of everything is always 1. It's just like the degenerate case. The next one is 4, because that forms a square. Then we're going to form that same square, and we're going to make it bigger. So the next one is 9. And we know these. These are very common to us, you know, square numbers. So we know that it goes 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, and so on. And the difference between here is plus 3, plus 5, plus 7, plus 9. And the difference between the differences is common 2. And you're going to see if we do pentagonal numbers, then you're going to find a sequence of pentagonal numbers. And that sequence goes a little something. It starts from 1, and then it goes to 5, 12, 22. And the difference between this one and this one, plus 4, plus 7, plus 10, and the difference here is 3. So the difference where the things start equaling is 3 here. For square numbers, it's 2. And for triangle numbers, it's 1. And using these differences, using that rule, we can find a general formula. Uh, we can find our general formula for, for triangular numbers. The nth uh, triangular number is given by n times n plus 1 over 2, which you might know as the sum of the numbers from equals 1 plus 2 plus dot 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 n. You might have learned that in your class. And then the sum of the first nth square numbers, not the sum, uh, the nth square number is given by n squared, obviously. And then the nth pentagonal number is given by n times 3n minus 1 over 2. For ma, for ma's polygonal number theorem, And that says that uh, given any number, any integer, we can form it using at most, at most um, x, x gonal numbers. So what that means is if we have any integer, Let's just say our integer is, uh, let's say it's 16. We can form 16 using at most three triangular numbers. So let's list out the triangular numbers. 1, 3, 6, 10. How are we going to form 16 using these? So let's see. Uh, we can do 10 plus 6. And we're only using two triangular numbers in that case. And how do we form it using square numbers? So that's going to be 1, 4, 9, 16. Well, it's just 16 by itself, actually. But let's say the number was 15. Then we would do 9 plus 1 plus... Um, to form 15, we would do, this is 13, 14, 15. So it would be 9 plus 4 plus 1 plus 1. And we're only using four square numbers. So that's uh, from us, plug number theorem. And we will probably prove it in a future video.